pivot points. All right, so what I want to do is make a new cube here in object mode. If I hit X, I can delete this cube or sphere or whatever you have in the scene and add a new mesh cube. All right, before I start, and I just kind of want to point out something. Um, okay, so Blender. One of the downfalls to Blender is the pivot moving around. Okay, there's no doubt about it. And I don't like to gripe. I'm not a griper. Um, I usually don't point out flaws too often. I just kind of deal with them in the video. But let me show you how fluent this is in Maya first. Okay, so I'm going to make a box. Okay. Okay, the pivot point's in the center of the object, right? So if I hit D, I can now move that around anywhere I want. If I hit D and Victor, I can snap this to any area. The minute I let go of dog and Victor on the keyboard, it's there. It's amazing. That's a good concept. It's very quick, elegant. Anytime I need to put it in the center of the object, I can go modify, center pivot. That's it. Cut and dry. Okay, now that you've seen my world that I'm coming from, and then we go into Blender and try this out. First off, how do you break a pivot point? Well, quite easily said, if you hit Tab and I hit W and move the object over here, its pivot point does not travel with it in edit mode. So the minute I go back to object mode, its pivot now rests here. So, like Maya, it does have the ability to go Object, Transform, Origin to Geometry. And then I can move it back. Now the fun stuff. Let's say I want to move the or, or the actual pivot point to the vertice right here, or face right here, so when I scale it, it scales from that point. Right now, if I scale this object, it scales from the center. And there are times when you want to do this. You want to scale it from uh, the side. Okay, well, first off, let's go into Tab. So we can go into Edit Mode again. Let's go to Vertice. Grab a single Vertice. In fact, I'll grab this one. Notice this cursor. This thing is the stalker of Blender. So every once in a while you'll see this move around on me because of the right mouse button click allows it to chase me. The point here is I have to get it exactly right here on this vertice. Well, I could do this by going into Mesh, Snap, Cursor to Selected. Okay. Now, Hit Tab, Object, Transform, Origin to 3D Cursor. And there we go. I finally got it over there. And now I can scale it from the outside edge. Okay, now let me do something here. Uh, dog Victor, Bam, Scale. So hopefully, maybe some of the propeller heads at Blender that make Blender kind of see this video and say, wow, that's a lot better. Um, my only hope is that to happen. Of course, that might not. But anyway, that's pivot point in a nutshell, is the fact that that's how you move it to a component and be able to scale from that component or snap around using that now. All right, snaps. Let's go into snaps. Okay, there is a little magnet over here. If you click here, you can now snap to volumes, faces, edges, vertex, and increments. Okay, being increments, I can snap it to the grid. Well, wouldn't that have been nice? Let's see if that works back in tab. That means I should be able to snap the cursor to this point, right? Wrong. 
so the cursor does not follow the law of snapness. Okay, let's move it. Let's move that center point to this face, just as practice. Okay, mesh, snap, cursor to selected, tab, object, transform, origin to 3D cursor. That way, if I want to snap it to the grid using this location, I can. See, now it snaps to the grid based upon that origin. All right, so that is snaps, origin, and, well, another origin name is pivots, and the 3D cursor. Let's go on to the next video.